Welcome back to Better Life, Better Business with local business coach and time management expert, Christoph Nauer with Balance Six. I'm your host, Rebecca Troxel, founder and CEO of Rebecca's Vault. In one of our previous episodes, we talked about the 1090 rule, which most people have never heard of. If you haven't listened to that episode yet, it's where we discussed how spending 10 minutes planning your day will save you almost two hours in execution. And on that note, Christoph, what do you have planned for us today? Well, there's another rule. Oh gosh, those you people who don't like rules, I'm sorry. I know this one actually is another one that's really beneficial. And most people have really heard about this one. It's called the 80-20 rule, right? Mm, I've heard of it, but um, I think you got to break that one down for us. All right. See how my Italian is here. Wilfredo Federico da Maso Pagretto was an Italian engineer, sociologist, economist, and a political scientist, also a philosopher. He was born in 1848 and died in 1923, the year my dad was born. So he noticed that people in his society could be divided naturally into what he called the 20% vitality, vitally few and the 80% trivial many. Later on, he discovered that this principle actually applied to much more areas. It can be actually applied to really broadly. Uh, for instance, he said that 20% of activity brings 80% of the results. 20% mm -hmm. of the customers get you 80% of your sales. 20% hmm. of products or services create 80% of the profits. Or when it comes to time management, 20% of tasks actually create 80% of value of what you do. Hmm. That's actually pretty fascinating. I do like the idea of working smarter, not harder. And it sounds like that's kind of what you're saying here. Yes. So let's say you have 10 items on your famous to-do list. Okay. Of them, two will turn out to be more valuable than the other eight combined. Hmm. In other words, the number of tasks is less important than the importance of tasks. Okay. So it's possible that a task, one task of your list of 10 can be worth more than the other nine combined together. Hmm. Okay. Now that should be the task we should do first. That should be the most important task that we tackle. And the whole idea of prioritizing uh, and eating the frog first, you know, kind of thing. We talked about that in another previous episode, right? You right. remember, I'm sure. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> most people procrastinate on the top 10 to 20% of tasks that are most important and valuable. So as Pareto said, the vital few. Mm -hmm. okay. Instead, they keep busy, you know, busy, not necessarily productive, but they keep busy with the 80%, the least important, or the trivial many that contribute little to results. Well, I know that I want to get more time back in my day. So how can I and our listeners start making this shift and to really implement the 80-20 rule? Well, you start by reviewing your business. Where does most of it come from? What activities lead to most of your business? What business and or services have the biggest ROI? Hmm. Okay. We need to know our profit margins. What are they? Which jobs brought in the most money? And where did we lose money or only had a tiny little profit margin? We want to make sure not to go after more of those jobs like that, because those would be, you know, the 80%, the few, they fall into that category. Gotcha. So this is really critical, okay? Most business owners don't do this. Maybe they feel it's a waste of time. However, 
again, this ties into with our previous topic of a podcast, the power of planning. You know, like yeah. you said earlier, one minute of planning can save you up to 10 minutes of execution. Yeah. So in this case, it keeps us from focusing on the more lucrative jobs, the ones that make our business profitable. But entrepreneurs, they always seem to just be busy all day long. Everyone I know that's an entrepreneur, they're always busy. Their schedule is very tight, but they always seem to accomplish very little. Why is that? Well, usually the reason for this is that they are working on low value tasks and procrastinating on activities that if they were completed could make a real huge significant difference in their business. The most valuable tasks are usually the most difficult and challenging. Mm -hmm. However, the payoff is usually tremendous. That's why we must refuse to work on low level activities, the 80%, and put all our efforts and energy into the 20% until they're done. So before you begin work, always ask, does this task belong in the top 20 or the bottom 80? And that's why it's so critically important that we know who is our ideal client and who do we want to work with and who is just the tire kicker and wasting our time. Whatever you choose to do over and over eventually becomes a habit. My motto is what we learn, we practice, what we practice, we become. So develop the habit to always start working on high value activities and refuse to spend time on the 80 until all the 20 tasks are done. Getting high value, challenging and difficult tasks done also leads to a sense of accomplishment, success and motivation, right? You know? Absolutely. You can check them off and you feel like a million bucks. And those feelings motivate you and help you being more productive. Yep. Time management is taking control over what you do next and the choice is ours making the right choice in other words picking important over unimportant tasks is up is up to us and it ultimately determines the key of our success in both life and business yeah it sounds like the key to mastering this 80 20 rule is really to look at the items that are in front of you and you know look at the ones that you need to tackle and cherry pick the items that will bring you the most value Sounds like if you focus on those, that should help increase your efficiency and productivity. Am I getting that right? Absolutely, yes. You know, And I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, bring in my mentor again, Brian Tracy, and close with a quote from him. He says, effective, productive people discipline themselves to start on the most important task that is before them. They force themselves to eat that frog, whatever it is. As a result, they accomplish vastly more than the average person and usually are much happier as a result. So this should be our way of working as well. And I wow. know the word discipline comes up in there again and not a lot of people like that, but really it does boil down to that. Yeah, well, gosh, that's what a great way to end this conversation. That's it that we have for today with Christoph Nauer of Balance Six. As one of our listeners, make sure you take advantage of the complimentary business breakthrough session Christoph offers. All you need to do is go to his website, balance6.biz, and click on the link to schedule your one-on-one -on -one time with him. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you'll join us again next week to continue to help you have a better life and a better business. See you next week. This week's episode of Better Life, Better Business is brought to you by CANC Video Productions. Since 1985, CANC Video has been providing live streaming, event production, and analog to digital transfer services. They capture those life-changing moments, preserving your history for current and future generations. Because your history matters. Visit their website at cacvideo.com. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. That's all for now. Thanks for listening to another episode of Better Life, Better Business with business and time management coach Christoph Nauer with Balance 6, the leading business and time management company in Northern California. Visit them at balance6.biz.